Hi everyone, my name's Becky and I'm a customer success manager here at Mixpanel. And today I'd like to talk to you about Mixpanel and BI tools. This is a question that we do get asked by customers, so I thought it would be good to give you an overview of how Mixpanel and BI tools can work alongside each other. So when we talk about Mixpanel and um, BI tools. In the past, there was very much a centralized approach to um, getting the data to different teams, and it would usually come in the form of getting ad hoc requests sent to an analyst, and then for the analyst to, with the help of an admin, to, to present that data into various different formats, such as dashboards and emails to go out to various teams and individuals within the organization. Today, um, we talk about um, having a data informed um, approach, um, and that is very much the case with Mixpanel. The goal with using Mixpanel is that all various teams and individuals within an organization can have access and use Mixpanel to suit their needs. So be it product management team, digital marketing team, user experience teams, or a individual. And that just means that an analyst can then kind of focus on what they need to. And how does that present itself with Mixpanel and BI tools? So we see Mixpanel and BI tools working alongside each other, and they do have different strengths. So with Mixpanel, you have the ability to answer some very deep questions within seconds without the need to know SQL. Now with a BI tool, you have to think about the questions in advance, and then you have to get those queries from predefined tables using SQL. Now, on the other hand, when you do use Mixpanel, you, um, your questions are very much focused around the product and your users and how they're interacting with your product. Whereas with a BI tool, providing that you do collect that data as part of your wider business, you can pretty much answer any questions on any topic. And um, so for the next step, I'd like to show you how that looks like in action. Um, so the analysis with SQL and BI tools is very much here. We have a, screen, um, a screenshot of what a funnel looks like in Looker. So it's very much a basic funnel. And again, it um, comes from some predefined tables. Um, and you have a very much a basic funnel here. Now, on the other hand, with Mixpanel, um, a funnel report, for example, and the whole UI is very much optimized to be um, reports to be built on the ad hoc basis, depending on what your users need at that time. So here, this is how you would construct a, um, a funnel using SQL. And then this is the output in a dashboard. So it's very um, difficult to customize. So once you've had to uh, build out that query, you then have this information here in the dashboard, but it doesn't allow for much um, kind of flexibility um, if you need to change anything. And this is really where the analysis with mixed panel comes in. You have the ability within mixed panel to very much construct a query. Um, so you can add or edit the steps that you need um, to construct your funnel. And then you can also hover over the events that you need to select. So you get a better context of what it is that you want to um, use as part of your funnel query. And again, this is very much done in a matter of seconds. And this is the um, how it's visualized within Mixpanel. And what it allows you to do is, um, for the start, is you can go and change the conversion criteria for your funnel. You can change your date range. And you can add breakdowns to your events. And you can also then segment your funnel as well. But also really important is that you're not just um, limited to using 
um, a funnel steps to present your funnel. We have um, different ways in which to visualize that data as well. So you might want to look at the time to convert or the frequency and all that's possible on a very much an ad hoc basis within Mixpanel. So once you have used Mixpanel and you've done your um, quick analysis, you might then want to go and use a BI tool to then go dig a bit deeper and look at, you know, um, the additional data that you have within a BI tool to do a much more in-depth analysis. But Mixpanel is a really good way to start and do your initial analysis and then supplement that with um, a BI tool as well. Now, I hope you found this very useful, this um, short video. But if you do have any questions, do reach out on the um, Slack community or um, reach out to your account team and they'll be happy to help you. Thanks very much for listening. Take care. Bye.